Welcome back to another tricking video guys. Today we are in McAllen, Texas, Edinburgh to be exact. We're gonna be loading in McAllen near the borderline and we're gonna be passing the immigration checkpoint. So let's head over there real quick. I did spend the weekend here in McAllen just for funsies. So it's time to get back to work again and head out. Probably pass the uh, pass immigration checkpoint. Let's see what they say this time because I feel like they recognize me now from my videos and I feel like they, they kind of stopped asking me a lot of questions now because they know I've been getting my content. Who knows? Let's see. In the meanwhile, let's go get loaded. about to die and there's a lot of trucks here so let's check it the light the camera will catch it but i recently bought this and some of these lights right here the chicken lights some of them are red let me show you guys see like these are red right here these are amber this one don't turn on so i'm gonna change them out real quick I just gotta turn off my truck because what if I get electrocuted?
like about these lights is that they're just boom you just connect it to the adapter Show you guys how it's done real quick. Oop. So you grab your light. that I did oh look I also added this my truck is dirty right now I'm gonna clean it throughout this week but in my head I thought I added the right watermelons no it turned out to be some other watermelons they just turned up from here but I wanted the watermelons to have the flare and I put them all on these corners one two three but they don't flare at night they just turn on like simple boring lights but they don't flare so I messed up now I have to waste more money. It's all right, it's all right. I'm gonna break them on purpose now. they all connected now now it's time to hide all these wiring let me see the other side because driving with them at night having some of them um, looking red it kind of bothered me a lot so is there some wire hanging down here uh, not really just that but I'm gonna cover it up right now with some zip ties we should be good well since I'm at it guys I'm gonna put some depth well, I'm just parked here. Still got a lot, but still. Just always gotta make sure everything's good. Right here, there's a lot of construction going on. So 
so just gotta be careful. Drive. I'm surprised there's no traffic. Like, maybe it's not right here. Maybe it's more over there. But yeah, we're going to Edinburgh. About to head out past immigration checkpoint. So I'll see you guys when we're at the immigration. Una troca salió de Durango a las dos o tres de la mañana. We just passed the immigration checkpoint, guys. They didn't even tell me nothing. You see, they just said, uh, Is anybody else with you? And now all I had to do was go like this and no. So if you're wondering about crossing, I mean, there you have it. I mean, ain't really nothing much to it. They did have some trucks filled up in there, like um, for an inspection, but. I think since there was a lot of trucks, they just let everybody go by, but other than that, it was pretty easy. This is the checkpoint in Falfurias, Texas, coming out of the valley, 956 McAllen. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's carry on the vlog. I still gotta pump some fuel here in Alice, Texas. Y pegarle lo más que se pueda porque vamos chicoteado ahora sí, con un convoy por atrás. No, hombre, vengo yo solo. Yo, guys, this is part of the night where I just be driving. I'm right now in George West, Texas, here in Texas. There's like a lot of, uh, I don't know what this is actually, but I know it's the Valero gas thing. Look at that, that's so cool. Dang. Look, there's a semi truck in there too. Oh, it's a refinery. Valero three, oh, this is Three Rivers refinery. These are the small cities where you gotta watch the the speed limit traffic like right here it's 30 miles per hour. Okay, okay, gotta slow down because the cops here, woof, let me tell you, let me tell you, the cops here do not play. They do not play. Oh if you're going speed limit over one, they're gonna get you and you're gonna get that that CDL ticket. So yeah. I did uh stop right now to pump some fuel and what else did i do i got some beef jerky some energy drinks i got a c4 and i got a rain um i do have a long night ahead of me so i ain't stopping no more aka being a super trucker if you know you know <laughs> don't i don't recommend it if you're barely starting off though do not try to be a super trucker because you gotta have some experience that not towards the driving kind of yeah 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 towards the driving but mainly towards your body, like you gotta get your sleep. You gotta be able not to sleep. You gotta be able to stay awake. So if you can handle that, I guess you're considered a super trucker. Oh my God, look at that truck, dang. That's a nice truck. One day I will have a nice car. <laughs> so I'm still driving. I already passed San Antonio, but I just wanna say drives like these at night, like, I don't know. I feel like it's relaxing for the body and if, if you're trying to be a truck driver, you're not a truck driver, sometimes if you're stressing, I would recommend go for a drive, you know? You get to be relaxed. And if you love nature, then that's a plus because I really enjoy nature. You can't really see. Let me see if I can throw all my high beams. Look at all these rocks, it's just crazy. Like, I don't know. But yeah, just a simple thought. Anybody, anybody out there need to hear this? If you're stressing, going through something, I recommend going for a drive. It's always really, really, really soothing for the brain. Yeah, we're almost gonna stop. I got like, uh, like seven, five more hours. I'm gonna sleep in Fort Stockton, Texas. Um, yeah, guys, this is part of being a truck driver. And right now I'm gonna play some music to stay awake. I got my Uber sign over there. It's really cool. If you're a truck driver, I recommend getting that Uber sign. Like, it's it, it really lights up and it gets a lot of attention in a positive way. I'm not talking about nothing negative, but yeah, it's just really cool and it's full of looks. So yeah, guys, listen to music, go on a drive, and that's what I'm about to do. Yo, this guy keeps passing me, but he keeps swerving. I'm going 70. Why? Right now I changed lanes and he almost hit me. Let's see, right now. And he don't even signal when he's gonna change lanes. Look, look. Watch. Just 
watch. He's not gonna signal right now. There's a, a truck right here in front of us. I don't think he's gonna change lanes right now. Okay, he signaled. Okay, okay. He's awake. Cause when I passed him, he was swerving bad, like really bad. He's gonna change the lanes again right now because there's another guy in front of him that's going slow. I'm finally in four Stockton. I don't know if I'm gonna park at the Sunoco or not. Gotta check in this pack. That's one thing about truck driving. If you, if you get here late, there's no parking at all. So, but there's a Walmart right here to my left. So, I don't know. Let's see. Should I try it? Should I try it? I know there's going to be no parking. Oh my God. Should I just go? Let's see. Now nah, there's no parking. I can already tell there's no parking. Everyone's parked on the side and everything. So now we're not even gonna try. So just go park at Walmart. from first Stockton you know this Walmart right here right off the 10 oh my god it's super packed too no you guys might not be able to see but I can see right here from the from the bridge up here oh no there is parking but it is packed I have my engine brake on the highest level Chill, engine brake. Nah. <laughs> Alright. I'm a park reverse. Let's do a quick U turn. Stockton. I'm gonna go to sleep and catch you guys on the next video. Peace.